All right, everybody talks about your hitting. I actually want to talk about defense first, man. All right. Let's t take me to that play on Sunday uh, against the Cubs. Because <laughs> as a former first baseman, I'm thinking, you think ahead. Okay, ball to your right, you're going to go to second. Ball to your left, you might tag and then throw to second. All of a sudden, you had the wits to not even tag the bag, but tag Contreras yeah. and then tag. Yeah, I mean, it was a little awkward. He had a line drive. I was... Should have probably just caught it and stepped on first, which was the plan, but it, you know, it hit off my glove. He kind of hooked it a little, it ended up hitting my hand. When I grabbed the ball, I was going to step on first and throw to second and try to get the double play. As I was about to step on first, I saw Contreras kind of coming in last second. So I kind of came up short of the bag and thought, you know, if I tag him first and then step on first, we can get the double play that way. And then they got it wrong, but then they got it right. Yeah, we got, it, we got it right. So it was, <laughs> it was you know, kind of a crazy play. and. You know, I, I literally was about to step on first, and I saw him out of the corner of my eye diving back in, so I kind of came up short. And so there's just a lot of moving parts, but, you know, that's just why we have replay. Okay, everybody talks about numbers. I, I don't care about numbers. I know you're not big on numbers, but the process and how to get there, yeah. that's what you're big on. Take me through some of that process that has evolved in who Paul Goldschmidt is today. Yeah, I mean, of course you want to have numbers, you want to have success, but I think how do you get that? And, you know, if you're just up there trying to get a hit, you know, you get distracted, you have a good at bad, different things. So for me, it's, you know, just focusing on the things I can control, you know, my work in the cage, uh, you know, studying the pitcher, whatever it may be, my mindset in the box, all those things that you can kind of control. Just try to simplify it down to the basic stuff. And for me, it's just, you know, try to have a good at bat, swing at the right pitches, um, hit the ball hard, and then whatever the results are, you know, sometimes they'll go good, sometimes they're bad, not not let those kind of rule your life and just, you know, make sure I'm just doing everything I can to give myself the best um, chance of success. What's the difference between a 24-year-old uh, Paul Goldschmidt uh -huh. and a 34-year young Paul Goldschmidt? A lot of experience, a lot of games, a lot of pitches, a lot of great coaches and teammates that have taught me a lot and uh, just try to keep learning every day, keep adapting, um, keep trying to get better and um, just try to still go out there and do my job, but obviously every day growing and, and just trying to get better and, and keep learning. All right, growing. This is a good one. Take me through what is virtual reality for you <laughs> and how you apply it to your game. Yeah, I mean, getting to use the win reality, virtual reality, it's, it's pretty awesome. I saw it a few years ago and tried it out. Honestly, with the pandemic, when we got shut down, was using it a lot, and, and now I can just use it every day. To me, it's really a continuation of, of the, the study we're doing. That using video, it just kind of takes it to the next level. Of course, we want to see how, you know, the ball's moving out of the pitcher's hand, kind of what his release point's like, you know, kind of timing it up and, and watching how the ball moves, and I think the, the virtual reality just kind of takes it to the next level, where instead of trying to get a good center field camera, you know, you're kind of in the box. Um, it's about as real as you can get without actually getting in there, and just another tool you know, that I use and a lot of other guys use it to try to prepare for our at-bats out there. I know there's a lot of data and stuff, but there's also that personal relationship, that trust. How big is Turner Ward for you here with the St. Louis Cardinals? Yeah, uh, I'm so happy he's here. Turner's one of my best friends in the world. You know, we have a, a very long-standing relationship back to the minor leagues when he was my manager and, and hitting coach in Arizona. So it's great to have him. I talk to him every single day and uh, you know having him and Jeff Albert here has been great for our offense and uh, hopefully we'll keep it going. All right, base running. Everybody talks about hitting. We talked about defense. We talked about virtual reality. But dude, you're, you love to steal bases too. And first to third and all that stuff. How much pride do you take in there? How much work do you put into it? Yeah, I take a lot of pride and a lot of work in defense. It's just another facet of the game. We can win or lose the game on defense. We talk about that all the time. Uh, I remember my first manager, Kirk Gibson, saying, you know, you can go for four at the plate, you know, still make a great play on defense or still, you know, do something on the bases to help the team win. So for me, it's always a big focus. It's not just stealing bags, but getting good reads, um, doing those little things right. And uh, base running is cool because it doesn't take great physical ability. It's not it's a skill that can be developed and you know you can get better at it by practice and, and getting out there on the bases and thinking through it it's, it's a lot more mental than physical out there and uh, obviously some guys are faster and can get away from things but uh you know i just love it because there's a lot of intricate things that go into it and, and if you're ready you can take advantage how's that process going for you this year so far the process how's it going i mean as far as 
developing who you are because you came into last year in the off season, you're like, how do I get better? Every year we're always looking, how do we get better? You and Nolan and Lars, right, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, Matt Carpenter yeah. also went and did the bat thing, mm -hmm. did the knob. Still using it? Yeah, using the bat from Marucci and, uh, you know, very similar to the bat I've used my whole career. But again, it was just another way that, you know, I kind of thought that I can improve my game, you know, other ways. You know, sometimes I'll go to lunch with guys in the offseason and try to pick their brain, whether it's retired players or current players. Just, you know, different ways to get better. I just feel like every year, if you're just going to do the same thing, eventually, you know, other the other teams are getting better. They're adapting, the players, the pitchers. And so I'm just trying to find any way to, to keep improving and trying to play well. And, and then just, you know, the process, I guess, if you want to say that, is just put my work in every day, do the best I can, and uh, try to go out there and help us win. One word for the guys I'm about to mention. One word, not two. One word, the first one that comes to your mind. Tommy Edmond. Valuable. Nolan Arenado. Competitive. Albert Pujols. The best. I know that's two words, but best. <laughs> Wayno. Competitive. I, you got to use it again. No, you're and, or, or impressive. Impressive might be a, good, a better one. Impressive. I don't, we don't like to give pitchers credit, you know. So <laughs> you face them all these years, and um, you're like, oh man this guy that and you create in your mind that you know he's not as good as he is and now to play alongside of him um, for him to do it as long as he's done it and um, just adapted you know he's done it out of the bullpen starter throwing hard you know can hit his spots move the ball so I mean I just have a lot of respect for him. What did you not know about Nolan that now you do know as a teammate after all these years playing against him in the same division? I'd say it just sticks out more, but how bad he wants to win. It doesn't matter what the regular spring training game, uh, obviously regular season game, postseason, whatever it is, he wants to win so bad. That's where his you know, focus is every day, um, and I love it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.